So let's talk about general sayings on the chemist versus the engineer, or chemical engineer. So a chemist is more likely to develop new compounds and materials. So let's break this into pieces. Develop means research, development, experimentation, lab reports, prototypes, and so on. New compounds and existing material, typically new compounds you want to make to make better materials. Let's say for clothing, you want to make it very good dyeing material, you want to get a very flexible material, you want, you want stronger materials and so on. And now for the engineer we are more interested in working with existing substances. Why? Because they are already existing and they bring money and they are easier to produce. So for instance, this could be well, already the textile example. Now let me tell you about this. We will be let's say producing polyester which already exists we don't care about improving it that much we just want to produce it because we have the formula we have the machines we are already producing we have our clients we are selling already we are interested in producing tons I don't know maybe per day week year whatever you want to produce and the thing here is that we already know how to work with this substance we care more about on the operation or maybe design of new equipment. Also, chemist deals with small amounts of material, typically working in glassware in a laboratory bench. So small amounts, typically, especially if you are doing new materials, you want to produce some grams or maybe even kilograms. You are doing this textile, same example. You will be working maybe, I don't know, I produce 100 grams and I'm doing some let's say experiments or lab report, uh, let's say lab testing and so on. You don't need that much to produce so with 100 grams you should be able to do this. Now typically you're working in a lab uh, like, like it says here lab bench or lab laboratory. You will be working with plenty of glassware because it's easier to clean and well it's typically what a lab is. Now, as a chemical engineer, we are worried or we, we take this into large scale. We want to produce huge amounts. So once again, we, we already know what's polyester. We don't care that much into improving this polyester. We just want to build a huge plant and produce millions of tons per year in order to sell it. I don't know, maybe to any clothing or maybe also for these, let's say, textiles, probably you've seen it, they are huge, and so on. So we are interested in the factory and the plant and scale equipment. So that's also very important. We also care about the equipment. We want to design the equipment in order to produce these. Now let's continue a little bit with the chemists. So once again, we are interested with a few grams of a new compound and the engineer is up with we want to make huge amounts of material with already existing compounds in order to make a profit. So this is very important profit. We want to make money. Typically the chemist is interested in science. We are interested in making money. So for instance, if a chemical substance is discovered by a chemist and tells you it's awesome because, I don't know, it's strong, you can save the planet, it's green and so on. But you see that the equipment or the investors or the raw materials will not eventually get up for the return on investment or maybe this will be working only 10 years and you wanted to work 20 years or maybe this will get outdated, outdated in two or three years. Well, you will probably not be working on that even though the material is awesome and it already exists. You will say no, no thank you because it doesn't make sense to make a material that will not profit eventually. Now once again the chemist will be concerned on establishing details on the reaction, maybe kinetics, mechanisms, how it works, how to produce it, good practices, all these before the plant is designed. Why is this? So you go to the lab, that's why let's say a pharmaceutical plant, sorry, company, you have many people have 
having their researches, experimentations, because they want to create more drugs. Because drugs, eventually, you get a good drug, let's say, something that helps people to reduce their diabetes or insulin, or increase insulin and so on. You have people right here, well, then you can sell it. So it, it's kind of worth it to make a research because eventually you're going to pay. But the chemist is not interested in how much is he's going to spend on the plant, how much he's going to spend in the research. He's interested in making results, new drugs, new chemicals, in understanding how you can produce, I don't know, maybe you want A to become B, so what's in between and so on. And as a chemical engineer, you will probably wait until these guys are done and they tell you, okay, I have this reaction that goes A, you need to turn it to B, then heat it and turn it to C under high pressure. So the chemical engineer will be coming with this guy right here. Once he understands the basics of the reaction, we will be wondering how to operate it with existing material or if we don't have existing material, let's say you are a chemical engineer and you are building a new plant, chemical plant, you will be interested in the design of that plant. So you will be taking considerations such as pumping, piping, transportation of material, heat transfer, cooling, how to separate storage and all that. So I think it's, well, personally, I prefer this part right here because not only that, it's that's interesting. This is where the most money is. So typically you will buy these for, I don't know, maybe $1 million, your recipe. But if you build the chemical plant and produce a lot, eventually in five years you will be, I don't know, maybe your income will be $20 million. So you spend $1 million on the recipe, $20 million on the return of investment. So I do post this in my Facebook page. It's a meme which states the difference between chemistry and chemical engineering. And I think it's kind of funny if you're a chemical engineer, but if you're a chemist, that doesn't make that much sense. And as you can see here, the, the chemist is interested in the reaction. Let's say A plus B plus C plus D. Of course, this little guy has a lot of more hidden information. And in chemical engineering, we are interested in the equipment in order to make this possible. Now, I was looking for more memes and I found out this chemistry, let's say, of course, a chemist did this. So they make fun of chemical engineers because they tell you, okay, you have this, you have this, saponification or hydrolysis. It's kind of funny. You just state the process and you have this right here. So what actually happens in reality, there's plenty of reactions in between. And maybe if you like it, proposing uh, mechanisms and understanding what's behind and what happens if you add a catalyst and so on. Well, that's all up until, let's say, science. This is science. We want to understand nature. But as an engineer, we don't care about this unless we make it, let's say, I understand this process and if I add a new catalyst, then the time comes from one hour to 30 minutes. Then as as an engineer, I should pay attention to this. But if there's no way to make that, let's say this process takes, or maybe we need to increase temperature to at least 150 Celsius in order to have these kinetics going on. Well, if even though you're an engineer, you want to lower this, well, this is not possible because chemistry is telling you, you need at least 150 Celsius. So. As a chemical engineer, you cannot do anything, so you don't care about this. Just you say, okay, I get it, and I will stop paying attention into this little detail. Whereas as a chemical or a chemist, sorry, as a chemist, you will be interested in interacting and seeing what happens, what's going on there, why can we go 150 Celsius. He will tell you maybe that there is a very huge activation energy or so on, whatever the case. You don't care as a chemical engineer until the chemist tells you, oh, you should add this catalyst, and with this catalyst, you can lower it up or down to 80 Celsius. Now it's time for the chemical engineer to say, okay, I do care about this chemistry behind it. So this is what the actual meme should be about. Chemistry is more about the reaction, understanding it, 
maybe even be able to identify them. You need you have of course plenty of chemistry behind this because, well, it's not about writing. It's about doing a lot of experiments and analytical chemistry, understanding the mechanism, organic chemistry, kinetics, and so on. And the engineer is the chemical engineer is more into the equipment in order to make this possible and making it more real. I, I would say this is the engineer is trying to connect the science with reality. And well, those were some general sayings. Next video, we see a little bit on the brief history of chemistry and its engineering.